Oh no, anything but this car. What's up guys, it's your boy Sam. We're here with another video showcase of two more cars. Today it's going to be the Scarab and the R3MX GXT. I'm technically also doing the R3MX base version, even though I'm not going to be really talking too much in depth in that one. But I guess you could say it's three cars in one video, but in either way, they share the exact same hitbox anyways. We'll just get right to it and let's see how I feel about the first car, and that's the Scarab. Here we are with the Scarab guys, this first impression of mine, I mean you guys probably already know it, it's kind of like a meme car, the egg version of this whole damn thing. It is kind of a little bit of a weird uh, car in the sense of it has an octane hitbox but it's taller and a lot more square if you look at it from here. Um, but overall, I mean, it is what it is. It's not the best looking car by any means. The engine sounds terrible. I think the, uh, you'll, once we get into gameplay, I'll show it off to you guys, but it just sounds terrible. Um, not really much to say about it. It's not a car I'm really into looking at. So let's actually get into the hitbox. So we got the hitbox right here for the Scarab. As you can see, it's kind of doesn't fit either i think this is going to be a common theme as we go through most cars in the game there's probably a reason why nobody's using all these cars but we can get break it down right here as you can see from the side view right here now that i can see my mouse it's <laughs> there's a big ass gap in the front i don't know what they were thinking with this big gap the car is going to be hitting way before than you think it's going to hit um, the, the the back is whatever. I think the back of the car is usually whatever. And I think in terms of the F-150, that one was really bad. But man, the, for the front to be that spaced out, it's kind of weird. Looking from the top down, it's not going to connect perfectly flush with the design of the car. It is what it is. Um, it's not the worst thing, but that is a bigger gap than I'm expecting. This being a round car right here, looking at the top, the front and the back, it, those corners don't fit at all. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure understanding why they designed this car this way and then decided to put this hitbox, let alone from the top. It just pokes out so far. You're going to think you're going to be hitting the ball, but it's going to be clipping through. It's kind of weird. I mean, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, let's actually see how it gets into gameplay. So my gameplay with the Scarab was as to be expected. I hated the car. Me and this car just don't drive. I understand that it's a hundred percent like the Octane in terms of hitbox, and it shares all the same advantages and disadvantages. Let me tell you what: driving this car felt like a complete disadvantage. The flat bottom of this whatever square thing of the of how the car is designed it just feels weird. I know it's not any real difference. But in terms of how I expect the ball to react when I drive this car, it, it just doesn't go. Air rolling was a little weird in the air, not that I'm too great at it, but it felt even worse with this car. It just felt like a brick, to be honest, in all, in all sense of the word. But I mean, I knew what I was going to get into when I was driving this car, and I'm just glad that I got it over with in this video because, man, this car sucks. Here we are. This is the R3MX GT. Now... There's technically two different versions of this car. There's the GT, GXT, sorry, version of it, and the regular one. Of the two, I will be more focusing on the GXT version since that's kind of the car most people want, I think. Um, this does have some nice effects to it compared to the other. It does have these nice little, I guess, flames. Um, it's a little unfortunate that you can't change the color of it even when you get different painted versions, but I mean, it is what it is. It looks nice for the most part. I think the car looks good. Just by looking at it, uh, if I remember these little uh, sound, I guess, woofers react to the music that you're playing in game. So, I mean, I guess it adds nice little elements in that sense. But overall, it looks really nice. Kind of like gives me like Ferrari or the Lamborghini vibes. Personally, I do like the regular one. I don't like all the effects on it. This one's a lot better. It doesn't have that weird cheesy spoiler that this one has. Um, so for me, this is what I would prefer, not as flashy and just nice and simple. Kind of guess keeps that Lamborghini vibe. But uh, let's get into the hitbox and see how that looks. All right, here we are with the R3MX GXT hitbox. This does have the hybrid hitbox, so it's gonna be a little bit lower. It's not necessarily the Dominus, where that I think that was the lowest one. And then there's the Plank, which is even lower. But the hybrid hitbox doesn't look like it should be fitting this car too well as you can see there's a lot of real estate down here not that it matters because you do have the contact on the wheels but back here you do have that uh 
a little bit of real estate and for the front very unfortunate that that wedge is not part of the hitbox i think it would have been really nice to be scooping the ball up with but it is what it is the side view really shows that the top of the car is a lot of gap especially right here like at this farthest point you're gonna be hitting that ball um looking at the front view it's pretty standard the sides aren't too bad it looks like and then the top of course that as long as we thought it was gonna be it's the back pretty much same thing looking from the top it's a little bit bright but you'll see right here the wall uh, that side is actually really nice it just lines up with the side of the car which is actually a nice plus we'll see how this actually does in game but overall i think that the hitbox in terms of how high it is is not that great but everywhere else it's fine um i'm not too good with the hybrid hitbox but let's see how we do in game gameplay with the remx gxt was actually really cool and i'm not too familiar with the, the hybrid hitbox it is a little bit different the car feels longer than i think it actually is i think in the hitbox if we saw it was a little bit longer than the actual hitbox but i mean overall it wasn't too bad flipping around i did clip myself on the ground so i, I wasn't too familiar with that and i did find myself losing the ball when i would try to dribble it off the wall but other than that i think the car performed as expected I did end up using the GXT version of the car for the video, but I mean, I think I like the regular version, the R3 MX, without the upgrade and visual effects. In total, I mean, I'd say this car is pretty good. Definitely not as bad as the Scarab. <laughs> but uh, let's see, look into how this all these vehicles play out in my ranking. These two cars, in comparison to the other three that I did, the F-150 Breakout and the x Devil, I'd say without a doubt the scarab is going straight to the bottom i don't want to talk about anything more about this damn car it's so bad i just hate it it's gonna go to the bottom and i think it's gonna stay the bottom <laughs> and especially with more as more showcases come out but in all seriousness it is really bad uh i mean it, it's gonna get that bottom splat uh as for the r3 mx gxt i think that car is gonna be i'd say less than the breakout for sure um not necessarily a car i was super excited to play um, or in terms of, I guess, mechanics, I wasn't too great at it either. But, I mean, overall, it, it, it was just not, not my type of car for sure. It has a cool sound. Sounds like a Lamborghini. But other than that, uh, I think I'm to, it wouldn't go up any higher than the Breakout for sure. Well, guys, that was the showcase for the R3 MX and the Scarab. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did take some time to start testing out these cars a little more. Let me know if you guys want to see actual gameplay with these cars. I'm debating it. But I don't want to make the videos a little too long. I think a 7 to 8 minutes is a nice sweet spot for these type of videos. But overall, I like the R3MX. Not necessarily my favorite. And the Scarab for sure is going to stay in the bottom. We'll see how it plays out as we showcase more cars. But I appreciate you guys sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.